Hey guys, welcome to the Epic Mickey Files. I'm your host, Animat. You might be curious about what this is. Well, I'll tell you. Obviously, it has to do with the Nintendo Wii game, Epic Mickey. A game with beautiful graphics, well, for the Wii, a great story, and a camera that somehow drives people insane. It's about Mickey Mouse, who enters in the Wasteland, a twisted version of Disneyland, inhabited by forgotten characters made by Disney throughout its more than 80 year history, and has to find a way to get out. Now, not everyone is a major Disney geek and has a PhD on Disney characters. There are some players who will stumble upon a forgotten Disney character and will go, who the heck is this guy? And that's the reason why the Epic Mickey Files was made. I explain who these characters are, a bit of their history, and their role in the game. Now our first character is actually the first guy you'll meet in the game who's not Mickey Mouse. He's not an inhabitant of the Wasteland, but he is the one who created the world. This is Yen Sid. You would most know him more from his first appearance in Fantasia in the segment, The Sorcerer's Apprentice. In there, he's Mickey's boss, the one who knows all the magic and how to use it. Apparently, most of his magic comes from his hat. I say most of it because at the end of the segment, we can see that he could do magic without the hat. After that he took a break and took off his hat, he leaves it on the table where Mickey can take it and make the segment into what we all know. Yen Sid was animated by Fred Moore the same man who made the modern look of Mickey Mouse and the animation supervisor of the Fantasia segment. Some people say that Moore gave Yen Sid Walt Disney's nose and eyebrow length, which would make sense like it's the creation that would work for the man who makes the magic. But the most interesting thing about this guy is his name. If you spell it backwards, you'll find something very surprising. Apparently, the thing about the name Backwards is Disney is just a rumor. After Fantasia, he doesn't really appear in anything else, with the exception of the Sorcerer's Apprentice reappearing in Fantasia 2000 and a few cameos in the House of Mouse. And then, in 2006, the Sorcerer would show more of his background in the Square Enix game, Kingdom Hearts 2. In there, he's a retired Keyblade Master, and he taught everything to Mickey about magic and wielding the Keyblade. Even though he doesn't use a Keyblade anymore, he still keeps an eye on the balance between light and darkness. The game marks as the first time that the Sorcerer has a voice, which is done by Disney voice actor Corey Burton. Yen Sid would also appear in other Kingdom Hearts games like Birth of Sleep and Coded. So now that we covered his history, Let's take a look at what he does in the game. In Epic Mickey, he's the only character who actually has dialogue instead of noise. Well, it's actually just narrating, but it's still dialogue, and it's done once again by Corey Burton. He's like the alter ego of Walt Disney himself. Before Mickey came in, he decided to create a world for the characters that have been forgotten by the public. What happens after is a bit of a reenactment of the Sorcerer's Apprentice. He takes a break and leaves his brush there. Mickey takes it and fiddles around with it and pretty much messes everything up. But unlike the cartoon, it leaded to a more catastrophic result. It turned the world that Yen Sid made into a wasteland. <laughs> 